Hey guys, Reginald Hughes here and welcome back to episode 6 of my new account from scratch. I've just been doing fishing since the last episode. Uh, I'm almost level 55 now, I should get it in a second. I've noticed that a lot of you guys like the longer episode, so I'm going to do that every 5 episodes or so. I'll try and aim to get them at least half an hour in length, maybe an hour depending on what I do. This episode is mainly going to be doing the desert treasure quest and then a few little quests to get up to recipe for disaster i don't know if we're going to get a recipe for disaster done this episode but it will definitely be within either this episode or next episode i need to get 53 thieving so that's on the agenda i also need to get the graceful outfit if i can so i need to do some agility i'm going to try and get my cooking up uh, i've I've fished quite a lot of fish from getting to 55 fishing. Obviously, it's only trout and salmon, but hopefully, there we go, guys. That's 55 fishing finally. I can stop now. I'm going to go. I don't know if I'm going to carry on doing this or if I'm going to do it to 58 and then do barbarian. I know barbarian is quicker, but I'm kind of waiting for the shift click to come out. The, you know, the shift right drop just so I can do that instead. I have got in total, uh, that's all the fish I've got. I've got quite a lot of salmon there as well, actually. I didn't think I'd caught that many. So here's a quick look at my stats again, just for you guys that want to see that. So I'm going to go and do thieving now and get my thieving to 53, just because that's the requirement for desert treasure. So I'm going to go back to pyramid plunder and hopefully, fingers crossed, in those three levels we can get a scepter. But yeah, I'll let you know anyway, guys. I'll see you in the next clip. All right, guys. So quickly, whilst I'm doing pyramid plunder, I just want to remind you guys of my clan chat, which is just Origin Hughes. If you're not in a clan chat already and you play RuneScape quite a bit, just jump into it. I'd love to get to talk to you guys a little bit more. It's quite dead at the moment again, but that's just because it's the middle of the day and most people I imagine are either in work or still sleeping. So yeah guys, if you aren't in a clan chat already, then feel free to jump in the chat and just say hi. I'm always in it if I'm online. If I don't reply to it, it's usually because I'm either busy making a video or I'm AFK in something. But I do tend to get back to everyone that messages me. Through the door and coming in with the first thieving level of this episode. 51 theming means I can get into the fourth room now of Pyramid Plunder. So yeah guys, I will see you with the next level. And that is 52 thieving. I'm going to carry on going to get one more level then we can do Desert Treasure. Oh my god guys, I've just got a Pharaoh Scepter. Would you look at that? Oh, it teleports you out. I had no idea it did that. This is the first time I've ever had one. I've just made so much money. Oh my god. Sorry guys, I'm so happy about that. 6.9 million, that says it goes for. Holy crap. Yeah, guys, I am I am happy with that. I'm probably going to keep it for a little bit whilst I'm doing Pyramid Plunder. So yeah, uh, I'll fill you in when I finally get 53. Sorry guys, I'm just bowled over by that. Oh, I'm so happy. Alright guys, and that is level 53 thieving done and dusted. I can now do... I now have the requirements for desert treasure apart from 50 fire making which i can get up pretty quickly anyway i don't know what i'm going to do now i don't really fancy doing um i don't really fancy doing desert treasure just now i don't fancy doing fire making either i might stay here for a little bit getting that scepter then is really just like pump me up for doing pyramid plunder uh, i'm sorry if the last clip was a bit loud i was uh obviously really excited to get my scepter like i said it's the first one i've ever had so yeah i was pretty pumped about that should be this door here. I might just stay here. If I do, I'll fill you in on any other levels that I get. All right, guys. And there we have 54 thieving. I didn't actually realize I was close to getting a level then. So, yep. Hey, guys. How y'all doing? This is a different day for me. Uh, I can't remember what I was doing in the last clip, but I've been doing some agility. I was at my girlfriend's last night. And as you know, when I'm AFK and stuff, I don't actually record. Um, so, yeah, I've just hit 47 agility. And that's hit me over to 950 total level. Only 50 more now, and then I'll be at a big 1,000. I can't wait to get there. Uh, I'm going to carry on doing agility for a little bit. So if I get any more levels or if anything big happens, I will be sure to let you guys know. All right, guys. So there we have it. That is 48 agility. Again, I'm going to carry on here just because I'm quite enjoying doing this. Actually, I'm just AFK whilst watching the stream. So I'll join you in the next clip. All right, guys. You are never going to believe what just happened to me. So whilst I was training agility, as you can see, I'm level 48. I just got the pet. I noticed that in my chat box, you have a funny feeling like you're being followed. And I looked and giant squirrel is just following me. Yeah, I imagine some of you guys are really pissed off with me now. I believe these are really rare to get. Um, I'm going to pick it up for now because I don't want to lose it. I know you can lose them. I'm going to go to your nil, hopefully, and get that insured when I've got an extra 500k. Yeah, just wait to fill you in. I've almost got level, so I'll be back in a second. And there we go guys, that is level 49 agility. One more level and I think I'm going to stop doing agility for a little while. So yeah, I'll join you in the next clip. Alright guys, and after this lap, it should be level 50 agility in the bag.
Yep, there we go, guys. I'm really happy with that, actually. I've just smashed it out in one night. I've done quite a few laps. Obviously, I've logged off and stuff. I didn't do it all in one sitting. I now have 89 marks of grace, which is fantastic. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do next. As I said in my previous clip, I just got the squirrel. I'm going to head to bed tonight, so I will see you tomorrow with what I decide to do. Hey guys, so I'm back. This is a completely different day for me now. I've not been playing much over the last two days because of the disconnecting problems I've been having. I believe a lot of people have been DCing as well and it's been so annoying trying to play when it's been like that. The other night when I was recording Agility, I'm sorry the footage is so quiet. Uh, my girlfriend was actually sleeping on the sofa. We've been out for a meal and come back and she'd just fallen asleep. So I obviously jumped on RuneScape and tried to uh, get some levels because, you know, no XP waste. So yeah, uh, in the meantime as well, what I've been doing is woodcutting. So I've just been here to get my woodcut to level 50. I've been wearing the Avars accumulator. I went and got that from Draino Manor. I'm just using it when I'm AFKing things, just so I can get some free steel arrows. I know you don't get a lot from it, but every little helps, of course, when training range. I have also got some bird's nests. I got a seed one and I got an extra ring one. Obviously, the other two were from when I was cutting oaks, I believe it was. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to be doing next, guys, but I will fill you in in the next clip. Alright guys, and we are back on OS Buddy. I have just got 55 woodcutting, which is where I think I'm going to leave woodcutting for now. I'm going to go and get my fire making up because 50 fire making is the only requirement I need for Desert Treasure. I'll just show you quickly. Uh, it is Members Quest, uh, Desert Treasure, there we go. So I've done all the quests for it. I've got all the skill requirements. All I need is the 50 fire making. It's not going to be, it's not going to take me long to get. So I might as well go smash it out now and then I can do desert treasure for you. The servers seem a little more steady now. They've been shocking over the last two or three days. So I've not been able to get much content out for you guys. Like I said, all I did was train some agility and did some wood cutting. So yeah, I'll go and get my fire making up now guys and I'll join you in a second. There we have it guys. That's 32 fire making. What I'm going to do is because fire making is pretty quick to train. I'll do every five levels. So I'll join you back at 35. I'll see you at 40, 45, and 50. So I'll join you back, guys, when I'm at 35 fire making. All right, guys, I've just achieved level 35 fire making, as you can see in the chat box there. I didn't actually realize I was so close to level. I forget how quick... I forget how quickly you actually level up in fire making. It shouldn't take me long to get to 50 at all. I imagine I'll do it in half an hour or so. So yeah, guys, I'll join you once I'm at level 40. All right, guys, so I'll try and not miss it for you this time. When I light this log... There we have it. There's 40 fire making. Only 10 more levels to go. I will join you once I hit 45. I've just realized that when I got 44 fire making, as you can see down here, that's also tipped me over to 975 total level. Only 25 more levels now, guys, until I hit the big 1000. I'll join you back in a second when I get my next level. All right, guys, and after this one, that should be 45 fire making. It always seems to happen either in the middle of a row or at the end of a row. Only five more levels now, guys. I'm going to move on to maple logs just because they're actually cheaper than using willows. And I'd like to save my willows for when I do fletching again. So I'll join you at each level now just because there's only five left to go. So I'll join you in a second, guys. And there we have it. There's 46 fire making. Four more levels to go. Coming in with 47 fire making. Three more levels to go now. Almost there, guys. People keep mentioning to me in my chat that I should go into Winter Todd at level 50. I have no idea how to get there, so I'm definitely going to have to look up some guides about that. But I believe Winter Todd is probably the best way to get to 99, and you get some rewards for doing it too. I believe you also get an outfit which gives you bonus fire making experience when wearing it, obviously whilst doing fire making. So yeah guys, I might definitely look into that. I'll join you again once I get 49 fire making. And 49 fire making. These levels are going by so quickly. I'm so glad I changed over to maple logs. The willows were getting actually quite slow. So yeah, I'll be with you in a second once I get 50 fire making. All right, guys. So I only need to burn one more log to get level 50 fire making. So here it is. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long to light. And there we have it, guys. 50 fire making, which means now I have all the requirements to do desert treasure. Let's just confirm that. Yep. All the skill requirements are locked off. And all the quest requirements are also crossed off. So I'm going to go and do Desert Treasure now. So I will join you once I have finished that. All right, guys. So I've just died whilst doing Desert Treasure. I'm hoping to God that because I've died twice, my first grave loot is still there. Because if not, I've just lost a lot of stuff. I died getting back there as well. Um, this could be a bit of an issue, but I'll let you know in a second what happens. 
All right, guys, so I made it back. I've got all my stuff, luckily. Thank you to Sir Bonage, just because if it wasn't for him, I probably would have lost my, I possibly would have lost my stuff. He went there just in case my first grave did actually disappear. Luckily, it didn't do. So all my stuff was still there, but just in case it wasn't, Sir was going to go and pick it up for me. So big shout out to you, Sir. I really appreciate it. I think I'm going to give it a miss tonight and I'm going to go to bed. I'm absolutely knackered. I need to get my prayer up to 43. I was just saying here that you need your prayer to get up. So yeah, I'm um, I'm probably going to train my prayer next. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Apparently doing the um, the unsold heads is incredibly cheap and cost effective. So I might do the favor thing. I, I don't know how this works, but I believe you go onto here and you see your favor. I don't know which one it is I need for the unsold heads, but I'll have a look into it. Uh, figure it out and then do that. The other thing I could use is altar, but it would cost me maybe a few mil just to get 43 prayer, which could be a pain. So I don't know, I might sell my Pharaoh Scepter just because I don't actually need it. Uh, and it's going for nearly 7 mil. So yeah, I think I'm going to sell this actually. I'll join you in a second, guys, and let you know what I get for it. So looking at the active trading price, it actually goes for 6.95 million. I'm going to put it in for 6.9 million just because I'm hoping it'll sell for that. Wow, it sold instantly. Yeah, that's good. I'm happy with that. My cash stack now is enormous. I'm so happy I got that as a drop. So my cash stack is nearly 7 mil now. My bank's about 8.5 mil still, which is really good. That's mainly because this tab is almost a mil. It would be a mil when I put all of my things in there. Oh, and the road bottoms as well. So yeah, like this tab is also pretty much a mil. Um, oh, it is a mil bang on now. Excellent. So yeah, my bank is 8.6 mil. I'm going to go to bed now. I'm going to say night to the guys that are in the clan chat. Thank you again for joining in here. It's getting a lot busier now, which is nice. It's nice to see you guys uh, jumping into the clan chat and saying hi and things. So I will see you tomorrow, hopefully, when I either complete Desert Treasure, which I doubt I'll do at these levels, or I've got my prayer up. All right, guys, so this is a new day for me. As you can see, I've started getting my favor up. I need 60 to be able to use a Necromancer spellbook, but that's the way I'm definitely going to do it. It's like three times cheaper doing it this way than it is doing Dragon Bones. So yeah, I will join you once I hit 60 favor. It shouldn't take me too long. I think it takes about an hour or two. So I'm just going to do this whilst I'm uh, doing some work and stuff. So I'll join you once I'm back. All right, guys, and this should be it. Once I hand in this next book, I've been doing both the manuscripts and the helping these guys out just because you get a little bit more experience for doing that. Obviously, you don't find as many books. But yeah, there we have it, guys. 63 favor. Uh, I've got three of these to use now, which I should also get a runecrafting level, which hits me up to level 33. I'm going to use them all in runecrafting just because it makes sense to. Uh, magic is quite enjoyable to get up, and I'll do it whilst training combat and things anyway. But yeah, guys, as you know, the main reason I'm here is to get 60 favor, which I've achieved now. I'm not going to do any others until I've got 100% in here, but at the moment, I'm just going to go and get my prayer up. As soon as my prayer is 43, I don't know, actually, I might get it a little bit higher. I might get to 45 just so I can use the Mystic Might spell. But yeah, I will join you back, guys, once I have a milestone in prayer. Just in case any of you guys are wondering how I'm going to be getting my prayer up, I'm going to be using this spell here, which is the Reanimate Chaos Druid Remains. And what that'll do is that'll spawn a Chaos Druid, which I will then kill to get prayer experience. Now, I'm going to be using the Fairy Ring here, which first of all, I believe I need to pay 80k to this guy to repair it. About the Dead Circle of Mushrooms. Yep, so I'll pay that. I'm hoping I don't eat much food for this, but I believe you can just run over here now. What I'll also be doing is, because now that should... Yeah, there we go, excellent, I can use that. So what I will be doing is just teleport into Edgeville once I've killed some of these and then using the fairy ring to get back here. So it should be pretty quick. I'll let you know once I get some levels, guys. All right, guys. And after this kill, that should be 40 prayer. Wait for the prayer drop. There we go, guys. It takes a while to get it sometimes. This is so quick. I didn't realize how quick it actually was. 64 combat level as well, which is good. I'm training attack here. I've also brought attack and strength potions, super attack and super strength. Just one dose per inventory seems to do me all right so far. I should have this done pretty quickly. Just a quick tip. If you guys are doing this, when you're killing them, as soon as it dies, get ready to um, do your next one. As soon as you get your prayer XP drop. Just click on it, it'll install it for you or do whatever it does. It'll reanimate it and then as soon as you start attacking it, just get ready to summon the next one. So like I said, wait for the prayer experience before you do it, otherwise you'll just be wasting your time. Uh, it's pretty quick, like I said, it's probably going to take about half an hour to get to where I want to be. But yeah, it's not that long at all. And the Chaos Druids as well give quite good prayer experience. They're pretty cheap and you kill them obviously incredibly quickly as you can see here. I've only got base 50 stats, so obviously if you've got higher stats, you'll be killing these a lot quicker. I'll see you once I get... 
Oh, I didn't realize actually, I already have protect from magic and protect from missiles. I clearly haven't been paying that much attention. Uh, yeah, I'll join you once I get 43 prayer because that is obviously my ultimate goal at the moment. All right, guys, so there we have it. We've just hit 43 prayer, which means we can now use protect from melee. I'm so happy about that. Oh, it feels so good to have protection prayers. Not had these for a while. I'm going to carry on doing this for now, guys. I've got these in my inventory and I've still got around about another, I think it's 18 to 20 in the bank. So what I'm going to do is carry on here and I'll probably get to 45 prayer, which obviously every little prayer point helps. And then after I've done that, I'll be going doing desert treasure again and hopefully not dying this time. Oh, and there we go, guys. I've also just got 51 uh, attack as well. I'm going to stop recording now because I'm misclicking on here quite a lot. And as you can see from the chat box, guys, I've just hit 44 prayer, one more level, and I can use Mystic Might. All right, so I've hit my other little goal now, which is 45 prayer. Like I said, I'm going to carry on using these. I've only got this left in my inventory, and then I will leave here and go and do Desert Treasure. If I do get another level, I will let you guys know, but I don't think I will do. So it looks like I just had enough to get 46 prayer, which has also gotten me 65 combat level, which I'm pretty happy with. So after this one, this is my last one now, I'm going to go and do Desert Treasure. So I will join you once I've completed that quest. All right, guys, and this should be the end of Desert Treasure. As soon as I talk to this guy, come on. I hope it's not another one of those quests which takes a load of dialogue to get through it there we go guys 20k magic xp and also have access to the ancient magic spell book uh, i'm going to pray at the altar just because i don't actually 62 mage i'm happy with that that means i'm one level away now from 1000 total as you can see i'm 999 that's excellent so yeah i've now got access to ancients which i'm going to change off quickly before i leave here so i don't forget so that's another quest done out of the uh out of the recipe for disaster thing all I have to do now is just get the quest points and then I can do Recipe for Disaster. So I'm going to start smashing out some smaller quests just to get as many quest points as possible. Alright guys, so I'll join you in the next clip. Alright guys, so I've just bought my first piece of Graceful. I got the legs first because obviously they're the most expensive and I wanted to get them out of the way. I'm going to go and do Imp Catcher now so it'll be a nice quick quest. So I will join you once I finish that. Alright, so here we go. Give me the quest. Give me a quest please. Quest please even. I'll try, come on, did a bit of bum bum bum, do that, hand them into him. A little bit of a cutscene. Putting his balls back on his plaque. Jeez, there we go, I'm going to live accuracy as well, woo, definitely going to use that. Right guys, I don't know what quest I'm going to do next, but I will let you know. Boom, there we have it, quest completed. Nice, easy five quest points. Just had a look and I need 175 for recipe for disaster you get eight of which apparently whilst doing the quest so that means i need 167 eight seven 167 um and i also need 80 cooking i also need some mine levels so yeah i still need some uh, skill requirements which i didn't actually realize i need 40 40 smithing as well so yeah i'm gonna do the quest first anyway try and smash me his quest out i'm gonna try and get all the free to play free to play quest done because that really should not be an issue right now yeah and then we'll go from there guys so i will join you in the next clip with what i decided to do all right guys and that is the end of mythil mystery missile i don't know miss thelin mystery anyway quest completed i don't remember that one being back in old school runescape i don't believe it was because there was a part in there that mentioned the zenite shard so i believe this has been added in later on i quite enjoyed that quest actually but i think that was just because it's a new one and i've never seen it before all right guys i'm going to carry on with the free to play quest so i'll see you when i've ended the next one all right guys so as you can probably tell by the overlay i'm actually currently streaming on twitch the chat's pretty dead at the moment is only me in it so um i thought i'd do a bit of commentary over the top what i'm going to be doing is slayer i've just picked up my first task which is hobgoblins i'm going to try and get my attack up to 60 today just so i can wield the dragon scimitar because i think that'd be really good i think i'd rather get the higher hitting weapon before i get my strength up it just in my head it makes more sense to have that so yeah, I will fill you in on what tasks I get. I'm currently 37 Slayer, so we'll see how far I get today. Depending on how well the stream goes, like I said at the moment, it's dead. Hopefully some of you guys will join in it later on, but we'll see. So yeah guys, I will join you with the next task. Alright guys, and there we have it, that's 52 attack, which has also put me onto the big 1000 total level. Uh, big shout out to Hacky, he's actually in my stream at the moment. Uh, he's one of the only ones in here, so 
shout out to you mate thank you very much for joining the stream all right guys so back with 38 slayer like i said i'm gonna be doing this for most of the day uh, i've just been talking to hacking stuff and a few of us in my clan and the french chat and i think what i'm gonna do is possibly a barrows trip today so i've been talking about this in my videos for quite a while now so hopefully we should get that done today and um, i'm sure the guys in the in the twitch chat will help me out with that massively hacky here obviously just uh just showing off in his gear <laughs> keeping me entertained so yeah guys i'll join you in the next clip total level of 1001 now be 2000 in no time so all right guys so we've finished off that slayer task so it's time to get our next one hopefully it's something enjoyable crawling hands hopefully we can get a crawling is it the the, the hedge you get for these or at least the carcasses or whatever and i can put that in my house at some point all right guys so i'll join you back once i finish that task so whilst i'm streaming i've just gotten my crawling hand i don't know what it's called it's not really a head is it but it's the carcass i was actually just saying to everyone how this was the first one i ever got on my first slayer task and again my first slayer task of crawling hands and i get the uh the trophy for it i don't know what the drop rate of that is but yeah i'm pretty happy with that and we've also just hit 53 attack which is great uh what's my combat level now uh, it's still oh it's 65 sweet all right guys i'll join you when i go and get a slayer, next slayer task which should be again in a few minutes all right guys here we go time to get my slayer task 74 kilowatts that's funny that because in the last episode i was saying that i'd never killed kilowatts before so i'm gonna have to look up how to kill these so yeah guys i will join you either if something interesting happens or i've completed the task all right guys so whilst i was killing kilowatts with hacky over here we've um we've just achieved 39 slayer one more level until we're 40 uh, i'm not gonna pick that up because that's not mine but um yeah hopefully we should be level 40 not too long now so i'll see you when i hit that level all right guys so we were doing kilowatts uh then hacky was right obviously uh, i'm never ever gonna do kilowatts again I don't know if it's worth blocking them. It costs 100 points, I can't anyway. So I'm going to cancel this task just because kilowatts were so painful. Like they were just wrecking so hard and it'd take ages to do it and I don't want to do that on, st on stream. All right, 75 Banshees, they're pretty good. I think I can do them in the Slayer Tower. So I will join you either when something decent happens or I get my new task. All right, guys. So after a few attempts of getting here, I'm finally at Twisted Banshees doing my task and I've just got 52 range. Level's going up quite nicely, actually. Um... I'm hoping I can AFK here for a little bit. Uh, I've got 60, 63 to go, so hopefully I can make a bit of cash as well. But I'll join you either if I get another level or I get another Slayer task. All right, so whilst I was doing Slayer, uh, I realized that I have a hard clue nest in my bank and I can't get clue scroll drops if I already have one of these in my bank. So I'm going to open it up now, get my clue scroll, go and do it. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long and we should get something good. So I'll join you once I've finished. All right, guys, so here we go. Time for my first ever... Hard clue scroll. Let's open it up. Let's see what it is. 32k. Wow. Wow. That is that is shockingly bad. Firelighters. I used to collect firelighters back in the day. But uh, yeah, that was that was a pretty bad clue scroll. 33k. Oh, thanks Hacky for coming with me to the wild day. He uh, he babysat me and made sure I didn't die, which was good. Alright guys, I'll uh I'll carry on recording once I get another slayer task or another drop. Right guys, and there we have it, 40 Slayer. That's quite a small landmark for me there. I can now kill Basilisks and Terror Dogs. I forgot Terror Dogs even existed in this game. Yeah, all right guys, I'll see you either when I get a new task or when something different happens. <clears throat> all right guys, I've just completed my 16th task now. Um, that's another four Slayer points in the bag. I got an easy clue whilst doing this. I also got some Dark Mystic gloves. So I'm going to go and complete my easy clue first and see what we get from that. Hopefully we get a Zami page or something to make a bit of money. So yeah, I'll join you once I've completed that and then we'll go and get another task. Okay, so whilst I was doing my clue scroll, I needed to get a charged amulet of glory. I also decided that because I have like nearly six mil just sat in the bank, I'm going to buy a glory so I can use it whilst I'm slaying and things. The chat have said I should do, so I'm going to leave it in for mid. Hopefully it buys for that. It says it's going for a little bit cheaper than that at the moment. So I'll leave it in for mid and hopefully I should have one soonish. I've still got two mil to play with. Obviously, if I need it, the money, I can always sell it back. So yeah, just to update you guys on what I've been doing. I'm still doing my easy clue scrolls. So I'll let you know what I get from the reward going to get an amazing clue scroll bum 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 oh i thought that was a rare item then 1.7k who guessed that right did anyone guess that right uh i think hacky is actually the closest from a 237 gp so well done hacky i would give you the imp mask but unfortunately you're an iron man so uh i guess i'll have to keep that jesus christ that looks scary have you seen the baby mask 
Ugh, yeah, that's weird. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get, I'm going to get another Slayer mask, uh, a Slayer task now, Ethan. So I will let you know what that is. All right, guys, so time to get my next Slayer assignment, which is 15 vampires. I think I can kill them in Canifis. It shouldn't take me too long either. Uh, I might need garlic for them. Ask the uh, Twitch chat. We'll find out. So, guys, I will see you once I finish the task or we get something good. All right, just to fill you in, my Fury he's just bought. I took it out because I was a bit excited for it. So, uh, yeah. Still like a scrub because we're in rune, but at least we've got the Amulet of Fury now. It should, hopefully, defend me a little better. Gives me a bit of prayer bonus as well, so that's nice. All right, I'm going to go and kill vampires now. I believe I need some garlic in my inventory to weaken them. So, I will join you either, hopefully, if I get a medium clue scroll. Going for them ranger butte hunt. But yeah, I'll join you back in a second, guys. Okay, so vampires was pretty quick. We didn't get a clue scroll, unfortunately. So time to get another task. 105 ogres. I'm going to range them, I think. I know they're always camped, though, aren't they? So hopefully I can get a spot and get some kills in there. All right, cool. Back in a second. And we've just achieved 53 range. Hopefully we should get a quite a few range levels today um, because of doing Slayer. Quite a lot of tasks are rangeable. So as many as I can do, I will do. We've just hit 54 range. I've just realised as well, we actually missed out on 41 Slayer. I didn't record it, so I'm just filling you guys in. Uh, total level is 1009 now. Slayer is slowly going up along with my melee and range stats. I've not had to mage anything yet today, uh, but that might change depending on what I get in the next few tasks. So yeah, I'll join you in the next clip, guys, when I've decided what I'm doing next. Nothing eventful on that Slayer task. We just got a few installed heads. It took quite a while because of the cannoners, but here we go. Get the next assignment, which is Hill Giants. I don't mind killing hill giants, it's nice and quick, and you get some pretty decent drops from them. So I'll go and kill them in the tavern, not the tavern dungeon, in the one below the Grand Exchange. Uh, I think it's over there, actually. So yeah, I'll join you back once I finish that task. I uh, missed the level again, unfortunately, but we have just hit 42 Slayer. You can see it there in the chat box. I'm getting Slayer levels pretty quickly, actually. Uh, the chat's keeping me pretty entertained in Twitch, so thank you to all of you guys that have actually been in the chat. I've, uh, I've really enjoyed streaming today. I'm going to carry on streaming for about another two hours or so. So yeah, I'll, um, I'll be having a few more Slayer tasks, hopefully. Uh, only 57 more Hill Giants to go. So I'll let you know if we get another level, which we should do. I imagine we'll get another range level soon. So yeah, guys, I'll join you once I get that. And that's 55 range. Five more levels, and then we're level 60. You can upgrade to Red Dragon Hide, I believe it is. Yeah, I'm going to carry on killing these range. I don't think we're going to get anything decent from these. So the next clip you'll see me in will be the... Uh, get me, me Sorry, the next clip you'll see me in will be me getting the next Slayer task. Alright guys, so me and Elsting are going doing my first ever Barrows run. Hopefully, I don't die. Yeah, the stream's a bit confused now because obviously the stream's a little bit behind on what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll get something good. I'll let you know when we're at the chest though. Alright guys, so here we have it. Let me just change this back before I forget. Time to loot it. Wish me luck. And of course, we get absolutely nothing. Ah well, some runes back though, which is nice. Teleport back out. I think I might be able to get a running actually. So uh, yeah, we'll see what we get from the next chest, guys. Time for my second uh, Barrows trip ever. Barrows chest ever. Hopefully we'll get something good. Good luck, me. Um, elite clue scroll. I think that's pretty rare, but I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Ah well, we got a clue anyway. I'm gonna teleport out. All right, guys, and that's where I'm gonna end this video. It's quite a long one actually. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you noticed my intro at the start, that was done by Hacky. He did it off his own back. I didn't ask him to do it. It was really nice of him, actually, and I really think I really like what he's done. If you do want to get anything done like this, I'll leave his email address down below in the description. Just hit him up. He says he's more than happy for you guys to contact him. I'm really happy with what he's done. Uh, I think he's done a great job of mine. I think he might work on an outro as well, which would be even better for me. Uh, so yeah, make sure you show him some love as well. I'll put his email address down below. Thank you for everyone that joined into the stream today. It was really good having you in there. We had about 10 viewers in there most of the day, which was really good. Everyone was chatting and stuff and having a good time. Obviously, people have been coming to see me as well, and we've done some stuff together, like the Barrow stuff. I hope you enjoyed the Barrow's trip. So yeah, uh, the next thing I'm going to do probably is Elite Clue Scroll, but I'm going to end this episode here just because I need to get some actual stuff done in real life. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Make sure you've watched the whole series if you haven't watched it. It's really enjoyable, at least I think it is, obviously, my personal opinion. Got my glory now, got Ivan's staff upgraded. So yeah, anyway, enough chatting. I'll see you in the next one.